installing each Java runtime, no problem. It can be done in your own sweet time. Uh, at home, you can always download it, but I have it in the CD. Now, how to run? Uh? So, just now I showed you, you can look at the handout. Now, I'm going to go to page 7. Uh. So, you go to EGS. Click on this open button. Okay, they tell you there's a simulation running. That doesn't matter, just uh, close it. Then open it. Okay, it looks the, the file that I'm interested in the tutorial chapter 2 uh, is this one. Chapter 2 introduction. Okay, then this is the mass screen. Okay, double click it, click OK, doesn't matter. But end of the day, the complete the complete model is in the other file. So the professor has already prepared one which is the template, then later what is the final endpoint. So you can look at it if you are not sure. Okay. So page seven, nothing. You can read at your own sleep time. Okay, uh, W two. Can you look at page nine? W two. Do you have this problem? Did they prompt you for your name and all that? Okay, if it prompts you for your name, uh, which is this page here. Okay, sounds something like this. It's not exactly, but it tells you who is the author and all that. So if you intend to use this in, in whatever uh, in this current world, just add your name to, to say that you have contributed in some way, then leave some other comments. But leave the two names there. Okay. This is the original author then is to attribute that they have they are the original authors. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you page 9, the W3. Yeah? So this is called the description, which is the HTML. If you have some experience with HTML, you can actually do a proper HTML page. Package it in your EGS. Okay, like what the Comprade website does. Uh, then after that, model. Uh, model has different, has another five radio buttons. So the first one is called variable. Okay, variable. These are meaningful names. Uh, you need to be comfortable with uh, assigning variables. Uh, the type later, I, I, if there's an opportunity, then I explain. Because I don't want to overload you. Okay, initialization means what does the applet do at the beginning? Okay, does it tell the tell all the particles to spread out or whatever? So this is the this is the page where you need to input the codes in that is an initialization. Okay, how do you know that it's required? When the applet runs funny, it doesn't run according to what you design, then you realize it. Actually, I need to initialize it. Okay. This is the evolution page. Okay. Uh, dx over dt. That's up. Uh, I think I I'm not going to explain too much, but basically whatever that's on the right side is how the computer assigns the variable. So this variable is assigned to this equation. This variable is assigned to this equation. So basically what it means in simple language is the rate of change of x, uh, that means the x motion, uh, this is the following the Cartesian coordinates. The rate of change of x with time, which is assigned here as an increment delta t and then the independent variable is t, this is called the velocity in the x direction. Then the differentiation of the velocity in x direction is your acceleration. But acceleration, they use the force function. So what they do is they use minus k divided by m. Because f equals ma. Okay, then uh, you have your... Then the equation, then after that, multiply by x minus l. This is, I think, your, your change in your x. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you some. Now fixed relationship. This one is up to you to design. For example, you can ask your student. Okay, maybe I talk from a teacher's perspective first. Huh? Let's say you want to design an applet that shows the the total energy. Oh, you really already have. Huh? Okay. So let's say you want to design this applet that shows certain variable. You need to know the equation. Key in here. Then have a mechanism later on in the view, uh, in the view, have a mechanism to draw it, it will show up perfectly. 
Okay, it's not like it's not like flash, very messy. You need to do all the designing yourself. This one is an interface builder, especially designed for teachers. Okay. How many of you are doing programming? You all know custom function. I need something that is being done repeatedly. Yeah. Why have it in the code? Why not have it in a function that I repeatedly, repeatedly call like max dot sign x? I always use sign function. Then this is a function. Then uh, this is uh, the custom one that you can make on your own. Okay. Okay. Now this is how you can actually draw certain things. So, so for example, this is this is the spring. Okay. The spring has a certain position. This is the position of x. This is the position of y. So you got to key this in. What is the size to draw? Okay. And then what is the Okay, what is the color? Uh, what is the radius? Because it's a spring, so for this case it has a radius. So you could change the radius. I do something. I do something magical. Uh. I change it to let's say uh, zero point five. Okay. Then what do you expect to see? You see, like magic, uh, within an instant of changing a particular part of the interface, the spring become a lot larger. So you can actually tweak the look and feel to suit your students' learning. For example, spring look like this to you, and you want the student to learn spring that way. This is how you can do that. Now. If you want the spring to have certain color, just change it. For example, I like green. Uh, I that, and then I want it to be quite thick. Let's say three. Now it is green and it is quite thick. So fast. Okay. So any quick questions before I uh, move on? Did I miss out anything that needs to be addressed? So W3. If not, then I move on to page 10. Uh, inspecting the simulation. Okay, so just now I think I already explained some of the inspecting the simulation. You all remember how to open the file? Would you like to practice it? Should I walk around to help you? Yes, uh, okay. So I, I will have a short pause at uh, 2.3 W4. Uh, it's on page 10. <coughs> so those of you who are faster, please carry on. Uh, those who need my help, please let me know that you need help. Uh. 